Mm. Now, King George whiting is a very delicate fish that sometimes people kill with sauces. Today, we're going to cook our King George whiting with a Beurre Blanc sauce. Now, it's a very simple sauce. It's a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of white wine, of course, butter. And it's this particular recipe, three stages. You may wonder why I'm up here on my own. Well, just have a look, see what's happening behind. Mm. I'm going to do the first two stages anyway, uh, which uh, is making this beurre blanc sauce, which is not terribly hard, it just takes a little bit of time. And then the other one is if I'm going to blanch the kale, kale the superfood. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add some olive oil into this pan that's been preheating here. So I've already sliced these shallots really quite fine. And of course shallots are a member of the onion family. It's a very, again, a delicate onion member and we'll cook that pretty quickly there, as you can see. Thinner the better. It's like when you cook with leeks. Always cut them very, very finely, and you'll find that they'll caramelise a lot quicker. So they're about ready to the next stage, which is um, some vinegar there. So we'll put that in slowly. Just a bit of steam there. And a little bit of the white wine. <laughs> I hope you can see it, because I can't. The next thing we're going to do is just reduce that. We should really do that over a couple of minutes. So we might come back and have a look where we are in a few minutes' time. So you can see that's reduced fairly well down to the consistency we want now. Just going to add a little bit of lemon juice, about a teaspoon. So about... It'll be about enough, I reckon. A little bit of seasoning. Might go astray. A little bit of salt. Not a lot, you don't want to kill it with a salty taste. Or probably I'd use white pepper, but I haven't got it today, so a little bit of black pepper. Keep the sauce nice and white by using white pepper. So now that's pretty pretty right for the next step, which is adding the butter. So there we are, it's gonna take a while to gradually blend in and you can see look at the cream in us now. And what you want is this lovely sauce. I can't wait to try it actually. <laughs> good. Well, there we are. I reckon that looks pretty good. On to the next stage. Now, the second part of our beautiful recipe with King George Whiting is the addition of some kale. Now, kale to some a superfood, to many just a leafy cabbage. And that's what it was commonly known as for many years. But I treat it a bit like a, a broccoli. I take the little florets off. Uh, rather than cook the whole stem, and that's quite coarse, never throw that away. Always use that in your bullet or something as a health drink. It's fantastic, obviously. I blanched them for about, about three minutes in, in some boiling water, then cooled them down in ice water, and the end result is these magnificent green, scrumptious florets of kale. Absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to eating them. Okay, this is the next part. We put our pan on a hot oven there. We put in a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of garlic we've cut up, just a couple of cloves. And we've got some real butter. Look at that. We don't want to burn the garlic. It's the last thing we want to do. I think we've got to that point where the garlic is softened. The butter is infused with the olive oil. And I found some chilli. Look, it won't spoil it, it'll enhance it, guarantee. Just a few flakes to get it going. Stir that around. Introduce the blanched kale. Look at that. Look at the colour in that. Absolutely fantastic. Michael Angelakis, you're next, old son. Don't bugger up the whiting. <laughs> we need to season. Yep. Our uh, the flour. flour. Yes. Lovely coarse sea salt, mm -hmm. and we need pepper. to put pepper. While I'm doing the pepper, can you mm -hmm. uh, uh, salt the fish, please? Mm -hmm. Now, this is flour. Yes. If you're gluten intolerant, you can use corn flour, potato flour, or rice flour. That's oh, sizzling away yeah, nicely. Sizzling beautifully. I reckon a couple of minutes either side. Okay. It's not on high heat, and we'll get that nice golden colour. Mm. And Mickey, let me have a look. That's cooked. Oh, that's beautiful. Just enough colouring there. Okay, well, that's cooked. Let's plate it up. I reckon we should too. Mm -hmm. South Australian whiting with kale and a beurre blanc sauce. Mm -hmm.